Hello friends you are watching my best ones. In this video I am going to talk about 3 best leaf blower 2022. Please refer to the link in the description below for more information and updated prices on the products mentioned in this list. So let's begin. 3 Ego LB 6504 Power Plus 650 CFM Blower The Ego's nearly 30 minute run time is among the longest of the cordless blowers we've tested. It has easy to use controls, a lot of power, and a precise airstream, but it's a little heavier than our corded picks and a lot more expensive. If you have to blow beyond the reach of a 50 or 100 foot extension cord, get the cordless battery powered Ego LB 6504 Power Plus 650 CFM blower. It's roughly 27 minutes of run time, on high, is second only to the 30 minutes you'll get out of the Ego LB 5804, but it is less powerful. The Ego LB5604 doesn't have the raw leaf blasting power of the corded models, but in our tests its more focused airstream was better at getting under a dense mat of wet leaves, and its turbo button can produce an extra burst of power, but drains the battery faster. The downsides, weight and cost. At around 10 pounds, it nearly doubles the Toro's or Works's heft, and at a typical price of around $300, the Ego is very expensive, much more expensive than any other cordless handheld we looked at. 2 Works WG584 40 Volt Power Share Turbine Cordless Leaf Blower The cordless Works WG584 is not as powerful as the other cordless options, but it's lightweight with a long run time. Another fine cordless option is the Works WG584 40 Volt Power Share Turbine Cordless Leaf Blower. This blower lacks the power of the Ego and the quiet nature of the Ryobi but it makes up for it with a nearly 30-minute runtime, roughly the same as the Ego. The Works uses two smaller batteries, instead of one giant one, like the Ego and Ryobi, so it's considerably lighter than the others, making it the most maneuverable of the cordless models we tested. Because it uses two 20-volt batteries, the batteries are compatible with Works's smaller DIY tools, like their drills and saw, but for lawn tools, the works line isn't as robust as either the Ego or Ryobi. One versatile Toro 51621 Ultra Plus Leaf Blower The Ultra Plus's powerful vacuum is one of the major reasons it's my top pick. It features a 12-amp motor that can suck in leaves and debris at an impressive 410 CFM. A heavy-duty metal impeller reduces them by 88%. Metal impeller blades will stay sharper longer than plastic and are less likely to chip and crack. This durability puts less stress on the motor, maximizing efficiency and extending the lifespan of the blower itself. The vacuum capability of the Ultra Plus isn't just for sucking up your finished pile of leaves after you're done blowing. It also comes in handy for properties that have landscaping features like bushes, fences, or boulders. Leaves tend to get trapped against these obstacles, and regular blowers can have trouble getting them out. By switching the machine to vacuum mode, you can simply walk around and suck up these troublemakers, then get back to blowing the rest of the yard. In this video. There are links to all of the pages in the description. If you enjoyed watching this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.